Black Culture Cartel family, what's good? It's your boy B Money. You already know who this is. Case, case. Yo, to the family out here, to people in the world are going on. It's an epidemic out here. We're talking about that coronavirus, if you didn't know. Yes, this is national. What's the code name, sis? COVID-19. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, it is crazy out here right now. We telling you right now what y'all need to do right now. Gloves, masks. If you go out on the public, you better do this. This is not a game. People are dying out here, man. This yes. is serious. Yes, make sure that you always have on your mask. Let me take mine down. Mm -hmm. Me and him, we are six feet apart. Yep. <laughs> Can't even touch each other. You Can't should touch always this. be six feet apart. Um, make sure you always have on your mask. Make sure you always have on your gloves. Yes, sir. Make sure you are washing your hands. Yes, got to do that. More than usual. More make than sure usual. It's 20 to 30 seconds. Yes. You can sing a little song. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. your so you can even spell out our name. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying? You wash your hands, okay. wash your hands, wash your hands. Make sure you lather very well. Oh yeah, lather it up, lather it up. Rub a dub dub in that tub. I'm just saying. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, rub a dub dub. Okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Rinse it off you and stuff. No, but seriously, make sure you guys are following all precautions. We need all the younger people because a lot of younger people I have been seeing on the on the news and on yep. social media, they have been at the beach trying to party trying listen, to go out listen. you cannot do that you have to take it. this very serious this can affect you yes okay it can. It can. not only the elderly yes not only the elderly i know we were all young you know what i'm saying we thought we was invincible but people are actually dying from this man this is this is epidemic yes and we have and we have facts we are going to present those to you yes in just a few but before we present those to you we have a doctor yes we yeah, we're going to bring her on the line right now. You know what I'm saying? Her name is Dr. Vashon Wilkerson. Dr. Wilkerson. Yes, yes. We're going to bring on, you know. Let's call her on that. Let's do it right now. Let's call her on that. Hello, Dr. Vashon Wilkerson. How are we doing today? Great. How are you all? I'm good. Well, we're, we're hunkering down. We're staying right. <laughs> mask on. Thank you so much. That's the best thing to do. <laughs> so um, tell us, you know, you being in the forefront on hygiene and everything, how's, how is everything on your end as far as your practice goes? Well, uh, the state of Maryland um, is following our governing body, which is the American Dental Association's recommendation for us to limit our practices strictly to emergency treatment only, so we're currently not open. Okay. We wouldn't be open on a Sunday, but <laughs> we will not be open this week for routine treatment. We will only be going in to see patients on an emergency basis, and okay. that's it. Okay. And as far as capacity size, um, how are you guys handling that on your end? Uh, as far as, you know, the size of our uh, um, bringing people in because you know gov governor um he specified he didn't want large groups and everything as far as right. you know more than 10 people so, so we had asked patients prior to the um to us closing we were seeing patients um before this the, the guideline became more strict um so we were asking patients to wait in their vehicle up until their actual appointment time so right. rather than waiting in the waiting area if they showed up 15 minutes early we had asked them to wait in their vehicle and then we've taken we had taken everything out of our waiting area as far as things that you might touch like magazines and toys for the kids and things like that so we had tried to make sure that the surfaces were uh, that they would touch would be minimized um, and then we were cleaning and disinfecting between every single time someone came in that waiting area or touched the counter to sign in and that kind of thing right uh, uh. So we had, yeah, we had definitely uh, implemented some additional uh, precautions, and it, you know, over and above what we normally do, which is obviously following uh, universal precautions. Right. So I'm hearing in your practice that the offices they're closing for like two weeks. Um, do you know if your office is going to be closed for two weeks or how it's going to be? Right now, three weeks at a minimum. Three weeks? Because uh, the uh, Maryland has, has asked us to do it for three weeks. Okay. Uh, and that came from, you know, initially from the ADA. So the ADA is a governing body that is broken into three. It's a, tri it's a tripartite um, body. Right. And so you have your the federal level, which is the ADA. Then you have your state, which is Maryland. 
and then we have a, a local, which is our county level. Mm. And each of them is, you know, stating the same thing. Please close your office, uh, you know, it's still an emergency for three weeks. Then they're going to reassess at the end of those three weeks to determine if it needs to be longer. Okay. Most people are speculating it's probably going to go longer than that, but we are trying to schedule patients back in at the three-week point in the hopes that we are able to see people. Right. But if we are not, then we will again have to um, make, go back to where we are now. Right. Um, have, being as though that you are a doctor, um, you do have receptionists and everything at your at your site. Yes. Um, is that um, causing you know like a hardship on them at all, or? Yeah. So everyone is is out of work at this moment. Mm. We are not open at all. So, right. Um, everyone is home now. The, the ladies who normally do paperwork, they are trying to do it from home. So they have access to the system from home and they are processing claims and doing things like that from home. Okay. But no one is actually in the building. Right. Right. Well, I mean, you know, this might be a basic answer, but what can you tell the viewers and tell the fam about, you know, since you're in the forefront of hygiene, what can you tell them about staying clean and making sure they're, you know, super clean, super clean? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, you've, everyone's been hearing you need to obviously wash your hands um, for a full 20 seconds. Sometimes it's kind of good if you can find a song or something to sing for that time. Um, there's a number of them out there that are fun to go along with it to make sure that you're spending enough time doing that. Um, I would tell patients or pay people in general to keep your nails as short as possible because they are just a harbinger for bacteria. So mm. um, uh, it's just harder to keep your hands really clean if you have really, really long nails. And uh, I know that doesn't go along with what people <laughs> want to know when people right. put in here when they wear nice long nails, you know, they've got their uh, coffin style or whatever, but it, it really is not... Um, it doesn't go well with trying to keep your hands as clean as possible. If right. you can find hand sanitizer, the uh, CDC recommends that for every four to six times you use hand sanitizer, you need to wash your hands. Right. So mm -hmm. we, we shouldn't use it exclusively, the hand sanitizer. Right. It should be used, um, you know, as an adjunct to hand washing. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and I would tell people, you know, you know, if you go to pump gas, you know, use either a glove or right. a paper towel or something right. to move that handle while you're pumping gas and um, and if you can't do that, you know, if there isn't anything available, then I would say at least wipe down your steering wheel and mm. uh, wash your hands, you know, so that you're not um, constantly transferring that that bacteria. Yeah. And what can, um, what can you tell about the younger generation? Because I know you heard about them going to the beaches and they're thinking right. that this is just, yes, uh, yes. just a phase. Yes, I saw something on Facebook where um, I guess there was a group of young people, um, all of them sharing a lollipop, passing it to the next, you know, each of them taking a lick on this lollipop. Oh, wow. Uh, and I get, you know, I get, every, I think every generation has felt sort of invincible when you're young. Right. And you think, well, I'm okay. But we are starting to see an uptick, um, albeit a small one, um, a small uptick in cases of COVID-19 in younger people. And the way they're reacting to it might not quite conform with what we've been seeing with the elderly. So I think there's still just a lot to learn about right. Uh, right. coronavirus. Right. And it's called a novel virus because it's not been seen in humans before. Right. And right. so that, you know, that right there lets us know there's quite a bit to learn about it. So well, um, I would tell those young people, stay off of those beaches. Right. Um, right. Social distancing is going to help us to keep the elderly safe. Right. And the very, very young safe and, and in fact themselves safe. All right. So, Doc, I just got one final question. Um, you know, I've heard that, you know, this is one of the most worst cases in over 100 years. Can you tell, in your opinion, I know we might be gone, dead and gone, but like to a 50 to 100 years down the road, you think we'll have another pandemic such as this, such as the corona? Unfortunately, I think we will see um, other pandemics, um, especially, you know, I, I said, you know, they come around kind of like recessions do. But I think the reason for that is because as we encroach on, you know, the animal kingdom in, in terms of getting uh, getting further into their territory, we will make more contact with them. We will probably see others. It's unfortunate, but that's just, uh, I think, the way it's going to go. Right. We appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for being very informative. All right, Doc. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.
all right and on some other news if you didn't know and this is when i realized that it was real i'm a big nba fan nba no sports yes. at all yes they have been yep. tested yes positive yes they said two um, people from the lakers yep two people from the lakers it was confirmed two, already it was confirmed two people from the lakers has already tested positive oh man and if i didn't know if you didn't know kevin durant of the new jersey nets new york nets they it's a wrap he's got it yes so. he does yeah. not only him but christian wood yeah he also was tested positive yeah Connor mcgregor he says his wife, uh, his his aunt, his aunt, she tested positive. So it's, and she actually passed away from this. Wow, wow, man, it's all over the world. This ain't this ain't just a local thing. This is all over the world. And if you didn't know, now you know. The black Superman himself, Ildris Elba. You heard about that? Yeah. Oh, yes. Him and his wife. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And then Tom Hanks. He also tested positive. Andy Cohen from Bravo. The tested host. positive too? Mm -hmm. wow. He also tested positive. Wow. So you guys just need to take this serious and just make sure you take it serious. Also, they're asking for Kylie Jenner, the younger generation. Just get on there, get on social media because you already have that attention. Yes. Go ahead and speak to them. Let them know this is real. This because is real. I know your mom, Kylie. I know your mom is practicing this. She even has shirts made telling everyone to wash their hands. So I know you are following. Yeah. So that's just letting you guys know that this is this is truly serious. Yeah. Not only that, a lot of people they are losing their jobs. Yeah. Um. So Walmart, they're hiring. <laughs> they're also giving sign-on bonuses for this. Yeah, man. It's 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 an epidemic, but we gonna get through this, fam. We gonna get through this, guaranteed. I hope so. We gonna make it on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> we all gonna make it on the other side. Right. Not only them, but Amazon, they are also hiring mm. for their warehouse. Because you know, a lot of people, you can't, you really can't leave the house. Yeah. I don't even know why yeah. we outside. We, we just stepped on we, outside. Hey, we just, we just, <laughs> hey, we escaped. We out of here. <laughs> we had to breathe because you know, we were just locked. Yeah, man. So. But anyway, yeah, Amazon, they are hiring um, for their warehouse department. Mm. And one person has actually already tested positive from Amazon. Oh. So it's it's real guys, it's real. But you know, stay tuned. We are here. We ain't going nowhere, fam. I'm telling you right now, and I'm telling you fam, other families and everybody else. We here, we ain't going nowhere, but y'all gotta stay safe out there. Y'all gotta stay safe, wash your hands, all yes. that. Just like we were saying before we even brought Doctor on. Twenty yeah. to thirty seconds. Sing a song. Yeah. Culture cartel. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up with the what's up with this toilet paper though? Toilet paper, what? You you need it. Okay, the reason why you need this yeah. toilet paper, the reason why toilet paper is going crazy yes. in the stores is because you're going to be quarantined for 14 days in your house. So you need to constantly wipe yourself. Right. So this is why it's going. This is why it's going in the, okay. in the grocery stores okay. and everything. Because I've, I've, been, I've been seeing it on, you know what I'm saying, social media, Facebook, IG, everybody going crazy over this toilet paper. And I'm asking myself, What's up with this toilet paper? You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm glad you cleared that up. Yeah, so make sure when you self-quarantine, you have your toilet paper, you have your, your water. And mm -hmm. also they say that this virus in your system, you should always keep um, yourself hydrated and drink mm -hmm. warm water. I like to drink cold water a lot. So mm -hmm, um, me too. <laughs> now I'm starting to drink more warm water. Also make sure that you boil your water on the stove. The steam from that water it helps it's not going to cure it okay mm -hmm. it will help if you do have that living um, organism in your body it will help kill it it will help it's not going to cure it so don't say oh she's no Yo, no we're not doctors here people we're just you know stating facts out there so if you didn't know you know we in orlando everything's being shut down in orlando pretty much we on curfew right it's curfew now it's so like the wild wild west out here in the house literally you have to be in the house at 11. not only orlando has curfews they're working on curfews all over okay um la is already shut down yeah pretty like much 30 days yeah all my people's in la they said everything is shut down they have um bars and restaurants that has already been shut down chick-fil-a is only doing drive -thru. Drive -thru. yeah and i think that you know that's what you should do also school's closing you know what i'm saying my niece and nephew they excited about that i don't know why they so excited they jumping up a joy like hey Party over here, party over here. No. Well, with that, they're doing um, 
the school system, they are going to work on remote um, learning and also mm -hmm. distance learning. So they're going to see which one works best. Okay, so, so you mean this like is, online? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So they're going to be uh, in the works of this. Okay. Trying to figure out which one works best for the students because this is new. So parents, make sure you um, work with your kids. Mm -hmm. um, stay relaxed and work with the, with the school systems because this is very new. Yeah, please don't lose y'all hairs or get any more gray hairs as it is. I know it's, it's stressful. I know. I know. Y'all gonna make it. We gonna make it. We gonna get through this. Not only that, I love that little TikTok that they're doing online. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They doing like a lot of TikToks and everything, challenges and stuff like that online mm -hmm. so that you guys can, you know, just stay busy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, you, in the house gotta, you gotta think social media, right? <laughs> COVID-19 is so serious. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, man. We want y'all to stay safe, man. Be out here. Be money in the building. Keys, keys right here. CCM, we out. Peace. COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a new coronavirus introduced to humans for the first time. It is spread from person to person, mainly through the droplets produced when an infected person speaks, coughs, or sneezes. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby. These droplets are too heavy to travel far in the air. They only travel approximately one meter and quickly settle on surfaces. This is the reason person-to-person -person spread is happening mainly between close contacts. The exact time that the virus can survive on surfaces is not yet known. So it is wise to clean surfaces regularly, particularly in the vicinity of people infected with COVID-19. Hands touch many surfaces, which can be contaminated with the virus. You should therefore avoid touching your eyes, nose or mouth, since contaminated hands can transfer the virus from the surface to yourself. When coughing or sneezing, cover your mouth and nose with the bend of your elbow or use a disposable tissue. If a tissue is used, discard it immediately into a closed bin. The most effective way to prevent the spread of the new coronavirus is to clean your hands frequently with an alcohol-based hand rub or soap and water. This will eliminate the virus if it is on your hands. Stay healthy and prevent the spread of COVID-19.